Come a long way since John Perry Barlow famously declared the independence of cyberspace in 1996. He argued that governments and regulation had no place at all on the internet. And now we're in a situation where you can see threats to internet freedom, both from the state, but also and increasingly by private intermediaries. Uh, a number of uh, obvious regulatory harms have arisen um, as the internet has embedded itself in our everyday lives. Uh, you can see there is in a sense a need for some form of regulation and the way states are responding is in some senses by harnessing the ability of intermediaries to regulate activity on the internet where they themselves fail because of the jurisdiction problem. You can think about this across uh, illegal content uh, restriction, um, across uh, enforcement of uh, defamation, uh, in terms of a range of areas. Obviously, the more fundamental questions arise when you start to think about uh, who decides what is illegal or inappropriate, uh, who should be restricted from seeing it, uh, under what conditions and under what forms of due process, transparency and accountability. And where once this was a simple question of thinking about uh, the extension of uh, regulation and the application of regulation on the internet back in John Perry Barlow's day, um, now it's much more complex, much more transnational and uh, increasingly uh, as uh, media reform activists and also as academic analysts we have to grapple with a reality which in involves multiple uh, different stakeholders often acting um, in, in relationships which are implicit, unacknowledged, which involve self-regulatory institutions like the Internet uh, uh, Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers that deals with the domain name system, uh, that deals with uh, network providers and enforcement of net ne network neutrality, uh, the extent to which they can control the content uh, over uh, the runs over their systems and involves users themselves uh, and the contractual arrangements they have with private organizations. So the slogan, if you like, of internet freedom is, uh, I would argue, a worthy one. Uh, but in, a, in order to effectively analyse internet freedom and campaign for internet freedom as a goal, we need to understand it's not only states that are a threat to internet freedom, it's private bodies, and we need to understand those complex interrelationships on a number of different levels, transnationally as well as subnationally, uh, in order to empower users and in order to uh, explore what it means to be a citizen in the internet-mediated age. Woo. Good work. What do you think of the Pirate Party? I wouldn't vote for them.